I would probably walk in, take a photo, grab my shit. Take a photo? Leave. Yeah, I gotta have the evidence. So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to another Do Girls Like. This time we're gonna talk about threesomes, one of my favorite fucking topics. This episode is actually really good. I just got finished re-watching all of the conversation and stuff for my end notes. So without further ado, I'm just gonna let you watch this video because it's so fucking insightful and hot. Let's go. Do girls like threesomes? Okay, threesomes. All right, threesomes. Any gender and which genders would you choose? No. You don't. I, okay, you say girls. That's what's throwing me off. Uh, I okay, like you threesomes. Do. You do. I don't think girls do. Um, if, We're in a fight then, if you like threesomes. Why? <laughs> because the first time I met you, why can't I do this? What, you wanted a threesome with me? Yeah. I was fucked up. I know, I was feeling jack. It wouldn't have been good. <laughs> oh, I'll make it good. It's always good. I've never done one. And I've always like, I've, I was, when I was, very young and manipulative, manipulated, manipulated, manipulated. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I was young, manipulative. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was manipulative. But no, I was manipulated, and they would always be like, "Would you ever want?" And I would be like, "Yeah, I'll do it for you." Like, but yeah. it was always for him, and I never mm -hmm. did it. I've made out with girls, but that was more of like in the bar, trying to like turn a guy on, whatever. But yeah. I've never done one by myself, and I don't know if I could. Like, I don't know if I could eat a girl out. Really? I, I don't know. Cause I'm like, sometimes I'm like, could I eat myself out? Like if, if I was really that flexible, would I be open to it? And I was like, I don't think I could even eat myself out. So therefore I don't think I could eat a girl out. Two girls and a guy. Two girls and a guy. Yeah. So never two guys and a girl. Would you do I mean, it? I would do two if guys. It was, yeah, if it was, would you be more inclined to do it if you were single? Or with your boyfriend and another guy. No. Because I feel like I, I wouldn't do it with a boyfriend. I will. I would never okay, do it yeah. with a boyfriend. No. I would do it with like my two top guys. Like I think the two, like my two fantasy guys. I would let my two fantasy guys fuck me at the same time. I've what had three songs. It's. I feel like my performance is phenomenal. <laughs> well, there you go. Why are you holding out? <laughs> I love threesomes, personally. <laughs> Christmas Day, I got woken up to a guy walking in my house. He just said, leave your leave your door unlocked from 7 a.m. I'm like, what? I'm just gonna sleep <laughs> with my door unlocked. I don't even know, I'm not getting up at 7 a.m. on Christmas. And he walked in, he was like, do you want your present? And it was like this girl, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my God, is this just like a fuck buddy? <laughs> yes. What the fuck? <laughs> this is above and beyond for a fuck buddy. I don't get fuck buddies like this. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I get the shit end of the stick with fuck buddies. It was a girl, she's gorgeous, she's lesbian, she's getting divorced from her <laughs> wife. <laughs> and she needed a Christmas, so. Oh my god. My mom's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> Can't come to family presents right now. Alright, I have a problem with the 7am bullshit though. Like, couldn't it have been like 12? It's because he has a family too. <laughs> oh. So you had to get the shit done and then... <laughs> and I'm just a delinquent in the middle that just has no life, so. Okay, so most of it for you, it is most of it for you the fact that you're not really like lesbian or is there also like a jealousy aspect or like a- 100%. I mean, I, I don't think I would be comfortable, especially with my boyfriend now, I would not be comfortable with seeing him with another girl. I would be like, what the fuck? Like, honestly, if I ever caught him and he would ever, I would- drag that bitch out by her hair. I'd just be pulling her, not looking back, <laughs> throw her out the balcony. I wouldn't do that far, but I would- I always the balcony with you. <laughs> I have a wraparound balcony, so it's really nice. Do you nice. like to throw shit off the balcony? I already know. Yeah, it's great. I love <laughs> I love being destructive. It's terrible. I would never do it with a boyfriend and then a guy. No, unless- so it, okay, Maybe I would do I it if they were like- it. Really, they really wanted it. friends or something, and there was no. Like, I feel drama. like I feel like you don't want it with the guy, with your boyfriend and his friend. Why your friend, your friend or your brother, which is weird, I know, but like because when you like get like jokes, like there's oh, like, like trust there, the train water. That's better than like some rando basically cucking your boyfriend, which is what it feels like. Because oh, always trying to cuck the guy too. No, but like the out. Uh, if you bring in an outsider, it's yeah. like. He is okay. an object of the girl's attraction, but if you, it's just a friend, it's like, eh, hey, when my friend hit it, haha, you know, it's like, obviously, she's not super into him or something. Like, it just feels I feel like that would creepy. Cucky. Creepy? I mean, yeah, but you gotta be a good friend. 
what do you think the reason is that most girls like don't like threesomes? Jealousy. Jealousy, hundred percent. Yeah, I think girls are afraid of their man looking at another woman and coming or getting hard to the thought of that other person. But I don't think it's natural that they think that. I think it's just like toxic ways of life, like Instagram and all the social media that we're constantly being fed other females or other men. I think naturally, why wouldn't you like your man getting hard in any sense? Yeah. And just because he's getting hard to another female doesn't mean he's not attracted to you or not loyal to you. Yeah, I also think like a lot of girls would like a guy that's like, oh yeah, I only like you or whatever. But like, then he's kind of like asexual, you know? It's like, a lie. Yeah, if just he, like we're talking about honesty. Yeah, it's I a lie. yeah I don't think it's even possible. But if it were, that would be the kind of guy that probably isn't actually attracted to you either. Because if he's not attracted to other girls, he's not attracted to you. You know, like he's just Women not. Women are beautiful. Yeah. Men are beautiful. And if you have to deny that in your relationship to feel safe, like I think there's a bigger problem. Yeah, I, I don't know if I personally could they're fun to watch they're mm -hmm. fantastic to watch I love that for a while that's the only porn I would watch was threesomes and not just girl girl guy 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 girl would you do guy guy girl if you were like single I've, and it was like fuck buddies I've masturbated to the thought of it mm -hmm. and just imagining it but I don't know I think I would be overwhelmed by the penis too situation. much penis. And and you know, I never thought I would say too much too much penis. But I I'm a person that I want to pay attention. I want yeah. to really be intricate in what my hands are doing and the speed that I'm going and I want to really focus in on it. So if I'm having two and I'm ambidextrous, I can do both hands, but I won't be able to dedicate all of myself. And I'm a small person, so yeah. I can't be everywhere at once and then I also will also feel like a competition. I'm like that guy's fucking him better than I am. Fuck, I got to like get my game up. You be really good friend. Yeah, real good friend. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I would want that girl to be more into me, though. Like, I would want her to fuck me, but like dick. But okay. want her, her objective is to please me. Yes, yes. But she doesn't mind my man's dick, but her whole objective is to Yes, I don't want a girl. I, I want him to enjoy us. I don't want her to enjoy us. I don't want a girl to come in and just, like, grab my fucking guy. It's no, like, no, you're not here to fuck him. Like, fuck all right, yeah, everyone me. watching, I think this is the standard girl opinion. <laughs> However, I'm the opposite because I'm, like, kind of like a cuck girl, so. <laughs> I, I think most girls would feel most comfortable if like it was you and your man double teaming a girl and it's all about you two or if she okay. is really into you and it's not about like some girl because it is sketchy for like a girl who no, really likes you. I see what you're saying. You I, don't, I would see that too because you're like, oh, we're fucking this, this, this fucking girl together. Like, yeah, like we don't give a shit about this bitch. We're just fucking her together. You know, that's kind of no, like a cool camaraderie with that. You know, it depends on the girl though. I yeah, feel like, for yeah. sure. For if, sure, she, yeah. if she was down to like want to fuck me and was down, I would feel like it'd be easier for us to fuck her if she wanted to fuck me. Yeah. If she I, wanted to fuck him more, I'd be like, so you just know you have to fuck him. To get to him, you gotta fuck me too. I don't want that. Yeah, and you would feel like you're not wanted there. And then you would feel like she's gonna keep hitting him up later. And yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't get his yeah. number, you're only gonna have my number. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're not getting the guy's yeah. yeah. There's, yeah. there's, no, there's, no, there's, there's no calls, there's no texts. You're blocked after that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. had a great time. For See sure. you. Never. Yeah. And the problem isn't like finding other people attractive. It's like emotional cheating, really. Yeah. The emotional cheating is the scary thing. Yeah. It's not. I think it's more intimate to like text someone you miss them and you're thinking about them than to fuck them personally. Yeah. Dude, I, I 100% feel the same way. And I asked Hunter which he would like more. And he was like, no fucking. And like, you just fucking fall in love with someone else. Fine. But don't fuck them. I'm like, you're wild. Like, I think guys actually think that way, though. Like, I think a lot of guys just think that like way. like putting on a sock. Like, it's just like like something to like make your day easier or whatever else. But if I text you, I miss you. Like that's, that's yeah, really intimate. That that's was really like connected. Yeah, that was my whole like logic or it's part of my whole logic behind like having an open relationship before. Cause I was like, you, you can have dinner with other people. You can do all these things like, and I really like hardcore separated like love from sex. So like mm -hmm. I can have dinner with someone I love, but I can also like have dinner with other people, you know, and it's like fine, you know, it didn't make you so that to me, it was just like weird. It was like sex doesn't have to be like that, you know? I'm the same way. I think I've separated the two. It's sometimes hard almost to come Yeah, I'm like bringing it back a little bit because I feel like it's unhealthy to really separate it. I think you yeah. sh should be able to separate it, you know? Especially if you're going to be having like one night stands or like fuck buddies because 
because yeah. it's just not conducive to that kind of relationship. But to not like, I've heard of a lot of girls who are like strippers or porn stars or prostitutes before and they're like, I can't like make love. And that was me before too. Like even though I had never been in that kind of work, I separated it so much in my head that it was like, and I think that's also like an unhealthy thing. Like it's like maybe a drunk fantasy or something, but not necessarily yeah. practical. Yeah, not practical. Cause I can be a jealous type. I won't ever show you that I'm jealous as much as I say I'll throw it off the balcony. I, I realistically, I would probably walk in, take a photo, grab my shit. Take a photo. Then, yeah, I gotta have the evidence. Cause I don't want him to be like, I never did that. I'd be like, yeah, bitch, you just did. Like here's here, the photo. Here it is, here it is. This is it. <laughs> photo, photo evidence. That is what I have learned. Photo evidence. No one believes stuff. Photo, you need to have proof. Mm -hmm. I always believe that. All right, I am back and I have some thoughts. First off, Mackenzie in this video, so insightful. I love her insights as to why women are a little insecure about it, talking about social media and stuff. I don't necessarily agree with her that it's like toxic to feel like your partner getting turned on by someone else is a bad thing. Cause I feel like it's kind of biological for us to be jealous. I just have always thought that in terms of open relationships, whether or not the layout works for you, it's valid to say that like any other emotion, like anger or sadness or anything, lust, that it's very easy for you to see those as just emotions that pass or something that you have to like get over or get accustomed to or just deal with in a healthy way. It's not necessarily something that should be full stop on being able to do certain things. So what I mean by that is when you think about anger, like you know getting into a relationship that you're probably gonna get angry at your significant other or your spouse, right? Well, you're not gonna be like, well, we're gonna get angry at each other at some point, so let's not even try to do this whole thing. Or let's try to avoid anger to the point where we're limiting each other's lives and experiences so much that we're basically not doing anything. I don't think that is any more objectively healthy than doing the same with jealousy. It's like, wow, you let your boyfriend or girlfriend fuck other people or you have a threesome? Like, don't you get jealous? And it's like, yeah, relationships have emotions that pop up from time to time. Some of them feel a little more negative than others, but that doesn't mean that like we full stop on what your partner can do. Again, I think it's perfectly fine to set those boundaries within a relationship, but I think the idea that the reason why you do it is to not feel jealousy is a little silly. So while I don't think it's toxic either way, I do think it's something to think about when you try to correct for the fact that jealousy is just another emotion like everything else. This, out of any topic so far that I've actually reviewed the footage on, but I think there's been three now or four, this one was the most contentious. I feel like as I talked about before, my female friends are a little bit out of the ordinary. They're, they're a little more chill and a little more fun. Like more of them will watch porn, more of them will be kinky, etc. But for a lot of them, it seems like the threesomes is where they draw the line. I think threesomes are a hard sell for women. Women because women are, in my opinion, more toxically competitive rather than having fun with competition, seeing competition as something that they use to strive to be better. A lot of it is just catty. This is always something that I've thought about women. So there's one end of that spectrum where the girls are maybe catty about other girls and don't want other girls around their man. And then the side of the spectrum that I empathize with more where it's like, I don't want to bring the drama into the relationship of another catty girl trying to steal my boyfriend. And I understand the insecurity and the fear around that. And sometimes for some people, if it's not like the hottest thing ever, like it is for me, it makes perfect sense to say, hey, this is a boundary. It makes me feel more uncomfortable than it makes me happy. Everything is a seesaw a little teeter-totter of whether or not it benefits you more than it hurts you. And for a lot of people, this seems like beyond the pale, something that might sound fun in a vacuum, but in practice just isn't worth it which is fine. For me, as you guys know, and as I said in the video, I am a cut queen. I love that shit. I need to watch my man get his dick sucked by other girls. I love it. I don't want, and I would be turned off by a girl who's like, I really just want to fuck Tara. And then like, she lets my boyfriend be there, but it's more about like him, me just like cucking him with a girl or <laughs> even though that doesn't feel nearly as bad as with a guy or something, it still feels gross. I would rather a girl just really be into it for the experience be into it for him, that would be hot too, because he and I have good boundaries and I know that he wouldn't cross the line, so if she did, she would be out. That's how good communication and good boundaries and trust kind of play into like a more open relationship too. Or like we talked about in the video as well, me and him, 
fucking her together as a team or me and her fucking him together as a team. I think all of that is great, all of that is sexy, but I definitely wouldn't be turned on by either cucking my man with a guy, especially where he's like watching or something, or just having a girl that is like pity fucking my boyfriend because she's turned on by me and she's kind of a lesbian. Although like I would do it if he's down with it, but it wouldn't be like as much of my fantasy and she would definitely have to like let him do stuff too. Although in a fun bar setting, I am fine with just making out with a girl like Darian said. I do think that most girls that have threesomes are doing it as a favor to their boyfriend or they're doing it because they are kind of bi or lesbian a little bit in a way and want to fuck with a girl. But the idea of the boyfriend interacting with another woman is always, I think, a little bit contentious and scary for most women. So it's never going to be like they really want it over the security they would have if they didn't do it. But I would say as my final little piece of advice for this video, because it's getting a little long, my talking, is that like letting him express and feel and experience his carnal desires will make him like you more and be more attached to you. Cause like what girl is gonna be okay with that and do that. So I'm not saying sacrifice your own morals or anything, but I am saying if the fear is that he might leave you for someone else, that's probably more likely to happen if you don't do that kind of stuff or if you degrade his natural male desires than if you actually allow him to be honest about it and partake in it within reason. I hope you guys liked this video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. And please do let me know what you think in the comments. I read all of the comments and this one I'm particularly interested in because it's more close to home and I have a lot of feelings about it and I just really enjoy discourse in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful fucking Friday and weekend and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>